If we talk about Su Fei's life, she has been ordinary, going to school, working, getting married, and having children. What should she do at that age? Without any ups and downs, nor any persistent stubbornness, it's nothing more than catching up with the trend and promising to turn ashes into a family heirloom. P.S. Revenge, no CP keywords of the novel. Her mental power is toxic without pop-ups, her mental power is toxic. Download the complete set of TXT, and read the latest chapters on her mental power is toxic. Chapter 1. Chin Reshaping. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1 Jean reshaping the dazzling white light, the chaotic ticking sound, and the constant electric currents all made Su Fei feel extremely anxious and uneasy. It's like a long time ago, lying in the hospital room, spending that uneasy old age. In order to get rid of this inhumane torture, she struggled hard and touched something. A sharp alarm suddenly sounded and then fell into a deep sleep amidst the chaotic footsteps. After an unknown amount of time, Su Fei opened her eyes again. In mid-air, looking down at a group of unknown species covered in white protective suits, and looking around, there were also large, medium, and small experimental machines. Although the specific purpose was unknown, the high-dot-end and upscale atmosphere was evident. Faced with their intense exploration, I fell into a lost contemplation. Looking back on my life carefully, I remember correctly that I passed away without being admitted to a mental hospital. Just as Su Fei tried her best to use her shallow knowledge to explain herself as half pulling the old lady, she was inexplicably hung in mid air for research, and there was a burst of intense cheers below. Look, its mental health test data is fluctuating. The gene sequence extracted from ancient earth artifacts this time is useful and a major scientific achievement. It's a milestone like innovation in our gene reshaping project, and the Federal Research Fund seems to be ours now. A white dot collar person even knelt on the ground, his head clung to the smooth glass tiles, and pretended to kiss the ground lightly. I can graduate, I can finally graduate. They looked quite happy, dancing and dancing. The problem was that Su Fei was not very happy, chattering a lot. With his body, he reluctantly guessed that many people were already in tears, probably even thinking about buying a villa. Fortunately, this is not the first time it has happened, after all, it is normal to not understand the encrypted Martian script of my grandchildren. In addition, now I clearly feel weak and lacking in energy, but I want to explore the truth. The problem is like a eunuch going to a brothel, saying it's not possible is really not possible. Based on the simple principle of not being forcefully integrated into the circle that cannot be integrated, Su Fei, with extremely strong patience and a calm attitude, lived for a second and acted recklessly. Every day, she watched this group of white dot collar people beating and pounding on her, sometimes crazy and sometimes irritable. It's a bit boring to have it left and used for a long time. After accumulating some strength, he aimed at and knocked out a low-dot-end household robot during the rare rest time of the Bai Tao people, then invaded its skull, debugged the language, and finally saw his mother tongue in another country after several nervous experiments. Looking at it, my nose turned sour. Unfortunately, I hadn't waited for a few seconds to feel sad. When I looked up, I was so scared that my mind was shaken. I was almost detected by the detection device, and I stood there for a while before deceiving myself with red dots all over my body. On a large transfer platform, there was a ball of irregular fibrous tissue suspended in the air, with various fine and dense neurons scattered like tentacles. There were also muscle tumors scattered on top, which could be considered gentle to say the word, ferocious. Without any accidents, this is her current body. Suppressing discomfort, Su Fei seized the time and, within a short period of time while the home robot was cleaning, slowly spread outwards around the central turntable. The biggest characteristic of technological progress is the ruthless elimination of those who do not strive for progress, without even an introduction or explanation, just a few big words, and the rest are all incomprehensible calculation formulas and meaningful data. 
she can only describe her current situation in a few sparse Chinese characters that have been translated and misinterpreted, using a combination of guessing and guessing. If we talk about Su Fei's life, she has been ordinary, going to school, working, getting married, and having children. What should she do at that age? Without any ups and downs, nor any persistent stubbornness, it's nothing more than catching up with the trend and promising to turn ashes into a family heirloom. Looking at the shimmering diamonds, they are always stronger than a pile of ash that I don't know where to look many years later. Who would have expected that the earth would turn into a mess? She was extracted for experiments, and that's all. Even her ugly appearance was fine. That person could explain that her brain could jump out of the ashes. Forget it, the times are advancing and technology is advancing. I'm afraid even if I explain, I won't understand. As the experimental data of Ancient Earth One, Su Fei accepted this glorious mission in just half a quarter of an hour, except for his ferocious appearance. Of course, as long as their experimental methods are harmless to her conscious existence, they will definitely unconditionally support the organization's research. If possible, I hope to arrange for her to have an angelic face and a devilish body. Su Fei already had a rough idea of what she should know, and what she should think was also very peaceful. Once again, she felt at ease like an emperor sitting upright, watching these people go up and down every day, carefully injecting and extracting on her body, and living a comfortable life. But as the saying goes, trees desire tranquility but the wind does not stop. This is a wise saying both on earth and in the interstellar era. Originally, as usual, she was idle and prepared to take advantage of the monitoring gap to visit that home robot again. Don't ask her why she caught a sheep and plucked its fur, after all, it was not easy to select a dwarf from a group of generals. Then, just with a guilty conscience, before taking any practical action, the path was interrupted by a dazzling light falling from the sky. I watched helplessly as the not-so-small and cute home robot split in half from behind, with special materials coming into contact with glass and porcelain panels, crispy and penetrating. Looking up, in the darkness, several faint beams of light rose from the ground, and one could vaguely sense a few people rising out of thin air next to them. I don't know if it's the special environment or the respect for the laboratory. Anyway, the creatures who entered here, regardless of their colors, were tightly wrapped from head to toe, without even seeing any eye-like holes. So much so that she came here for a long time, not knowing whether the interstellar era was dominated by humans or not. The newcomer was visibly well dot trained and agile. Before Su Fei could see more clearly, she was already caught in a burlap bag and felt the frequency of the undulating flesh shield beneath her. Hemp bag is probably also specifically studied for Yi Haifeng's serious business. Anyway, with her current weak strength, as soon as her tentacles come into contact with its material, they are attacked by electric currents, causing her skin to instantly turn black. Feeling heartbroken and caressing his half-scrapped tentacles, he instantly transformed into a dead pig, comforting himself. It's okay, life is like a box of chocolates, you never know what the next piece will taste like, living an extra second is a second. End of this chapter Chapter 2 Injecting Drugs you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 Injecting Drugs On the Way of Being Kidnapped and Fleeing, Su Fei couldn't help but guess the purpose of these people's actions. To be honest, she feels that her own value, like a chicken rib, is not very helpful for history, whether it is moving forward or backward. Except for those scientific experts in the laboratory, it seems that everything else is really useless. It's not that she belittles herself. Interstellar creatures have the keen insight, strong mental power, and agile execution, not only lacking in the same, but also a bunch of neurons that can't even understand interstellar text. What are you doing here? Even stir-frying is boring. However, given her limited understanding of the world, it is normal for her not to know. After a long time, when the turbulence caused a lump of neurons to feel nauseous and nauseous, we finally achieved what we had hoped for on this trip. Another luxurious laboratory and another bunch of long-awaited white-collar people. 
What a reasonable and unexpected result. Su Fei was placed in an open display cabinet. Although there was no visible obstruction at the border, she learned from previous experiences and dared not move recklessly. She could only try her best to retract her tentacles to prevent them from cracking again. Perhaps the hijacker this time was a well-known tycoon, not tall in stature, but with a strong temperament. As he walked slowly, other ordinary people consciously made way for a straight path, allowing him to approach smoothly. With one hand on the back, one can get close and observe. After a while, I didn't know if he had come up with any ideas. Anyway, the leader was full of charisma, and when he turned around, there was a passionate speech. The servants were also on the way, one by one, with blood boiling. Su Fei was stunned for a moment. As a fish and meat, she had little room for struggle and could only nervously observe their body language and the atmosphere on sight, in order to be mentally prepared in advance. At the same time, I secretly vowed in my heart. As long as I can live through this day, no matter how difficult interstellar language is, I will definitely learn it, otherwise living people can really be suffocated by urine. Fortunately, they didn't seem to have any intention of unloading the large pieces on site. They just embedded them in the machine with a platform, allowing the mechanical catheter to automatically adhere to the skin, which was elusive and impossible to get rid of. It is deceitful to say that one is not afraid, after all, when facing unknown things, fear is human nature. However, they didn't let Su Fei daydream for too long. After connecting the mechanical conduit to the host and confirming its completeness repeatedly, they gave her a meeting gift. At first, when the red liquid was injected into her body, there was not much sensation, only a slight tingling, but like exploding fireworks, it instantly swept through her entire consciousness. In the midst of lightning and fire, Su Fei returned to her mother's womb in a daze. Although curled up, her body and mind were in an extreme state of safety, as if in heaven. But she only stayed in heaven for a short ten seconds, and then she transformed into an indefatigable devil, waving her weapon and crazily slaughtering the fleeing white dot collar people. Blood and flesh flew everywhere, and the hatred in her heart was greatly relieved and released from this moment on. But this kind of immersive release did not last long. She fell from the abyss, her body burned by the flames, and her struggle was useless, despair, and pain spread throughout her body. In her heart, now everything is no longer important, only death. I don't know how long it took, but when the fragments of consciousness gradually gathered, the shroud of death still made Su Fei feel uneasy, but a faint expectation emerged, hoping for the next opportunity to return to her mother's embrace. Su Fei realized that the red liquid was probably like a drug from the past, and once it was contaminated, it would be difficult to get rid of. Unfortunately, she doesn't have the right to resist now. In laboratory life, there is no clear distinction between day and night, nor is there a clear date node. The most direct proof that can make her feel the passage of time is the number of injections of red liquid. But as consciousness gradually blurred, memory rapidly declined, and the truth of the world could not be confirmed, there was no other choice but to wait for the next second to end this cruel torture. Perhaps it is also because she is afraid that the hard dot earned experimental subjects will be destroyed day and night. They will regularly and fixedly inject energy replenishing drugs, and only then will she have a chance to catch her breath. It was also at this moment that the resentment of stubbornly fighting to the end grew day by day. After prolonged exposure to many things, one will always find something beneficial to oneself. For example, after multiple injections, the first benefit is enhanced toxicity resistance. The red liquid injected has undergone a qualitative leap in dosage compared to the first time. The second is the enhancement of spiritual power. Previously, only a small cluster could gather, briefly staying on low.end home robots with insufficient stability, often detected by experimental butlers. Now, to some extent, it can spread out along the catheter and establish a virtual composition. However, I still couldn't reach my hand under the eyelids that controlled the entire laboratory's main brain, and could only spare a corner. 
Just as Su Fei was tormented by this unpredictable future and her consciousness was on the brink of collapse, a turning point appeared in the situation. In the originally quiet and cold laboratory, there were suddenly many chaotic sounds, including footsteps, cries, resentment, signs of weakness, and the muffled groans of whips hitting people. I clearly feel that these visitors are not well-trained technical talents, but rather prisoners who have been forcibly escorted. As the sound moved along its trajectory, the final placement location was next to the main laboratory, just a wall away. The crying and howling of ghosts and wolves next door clearly drove the white dot collar people who were originally quiet in studying data. They began to put down their instruments, gathered in front of their main brain, and played up the image and audio of the next door. Given the great advantage of being in a location, the situation next door is simply at a glance. I saw a crowd of around a hundred people forced into the originally not crowded corridor, and looking around, it was a wave of human figures. A person in it, leaning forward and backward, like sand and stones, has no place to stand. They were all not wearing protective masks, and tears of fear covered their faces. Su Fei observed that most people were wearing tight-fitting shawls made of special materials, with different colors. However, a few were dressed exquisitely, cut appropriately, and had different styles, but they were worth a lot at first glance. She speculated that these were probably ordinary interstellar indigenous people. I just don't know what these white dot collar people really want to do. From her shallow perspective, she feels that missing so many indigenous people at once is a blatant provocation, and the relevant departments must dig up the entire interstellar space. By then, if this laboratory is not stopped, we will be sorry for the people's saliva. But obviously, white dot collar people do not have such concerns. They joke with each other, like selecting products, allowing the main brain to operate directly. A young and strong man is pulled out from the next door, and is thrown away on the floor in front of the main stage in various ways. End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Mental Rehabilitation. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 Mental Rehabilitation The man's hands and feet were tightly bound, and he could only bulge like a caterpillar, attempting to break free from the main brain's mechanical arms. Unfortunately, how could manual labor compete with machines? Without any surprise, it was lifted and placed on the experimental table next to the center console. Continuing with this trend, Su Fei believes that the most bloody scene ahead will be the opening of the stomach. Like human organ dealers, they remove organs while alive, sell them at high prices, and obtain huge profits that ordinary people cannot achieve in their lifetime. However, the white dot collar person clearly did not think so, just coldly directing the main brain to inject the red potion into the man's body. Based on one's own experience, when the dosage of red medicine reaches a certain peak, there will be a completely different experience. The early pleasure and despair coexist, the mid-term shadow of death suppresses, until the current flames burn, constantly experiencing the reality of being crushed to ashes. From the perspective of dosage, Su Fei believed that it was the early stage, as long as the willpower was stronger, it was not a problem to carry it, but the result was unexpected for her. The man's initial reaction was not different, as his body experienced the back and forth switch between heaven and hell in violent convulsions. However, he didn't hold on for long. In a sudden roar, his body began to split apart from the inside, until it completely became a bloody mess. For this result, white dot collar people seem not surprised. Just a cold wave, ordering the cleaning robot to clean up the dirt and remove the last traces of men in this world. Instead, he sharpened his knife and instructed her to inject the red medicine into the main brain again, clearly stating that the dosage exceeded the standard by a small amount. Su Fei's intuition was that what was going to happen next was very important, and she was ready to burn her bridges. She would rather lose one arm than stay awake and see what these people really wanted to do. With the passage of time, the pain all over reached its peak, and then the catheter changed shape from being introduced to being absorbed, collecting the faint blue smoke that appeared on one's body. This was the first time she had seen this pale blue smoke, floating and shapeless, 
yet resembling a physical entity. To be honest, I have been studying hard for decades, and the number of times I have passed the math, physics, and chemistry exams is few and far between. My understanding of spiritual power is also translated into the ideation of internal skills in martial arts novels. For this kind of thing, it is really beyond the knowledge framework. And it seems that this light blue smoke is very rare. The main brain collected it for a long time to obtain a small half, then compressed it into a small needle and submitted it to one of the white dot collar people. The white man took it and carefully gazed at the condensed liquid in the needle, then quickly and accurately inserted it into the neck of the new test sample. The new experimental subject is also a young and strong young man, whose reaction is completely opposite to before, and he doesn't seem to have many unpleasant experiences. His face is full of spring, and he is ethereal. But the ending was the same, just a few minutes later, his body also cracked from the inside. Until the end of his life, there was no trace of impatience on his face. The white man stepped forward to pry open his eye sockets, and his pupils had already dilated. After laser scanning, it was found that the heart had already burst, not only the heart, but also very few other body tissues were intact. But none of these seem to be the main points of attention, the focus is on the inside of the body that has not yet cooled down. There is a piece of thin and fragmented flesh slowly healing under the action of blue smoke. At this moment, the white dot collar people were overjoyed and gathered together, emitting a lot of excitement through the protective fence. The atmosphere was unprecedentedly joyful, as if something that had been studied for a long time had finally been revealed. At first, Su Fei couldn't understand until a thin mist drifted around her, absorbed by her body without any hindrance, and inexplicably repaired a small piece of burnt black before suddenly realizing it. Based on her feelings, the blue smoke is her spiritual power, which can be extracted to repair wounds and enhance strength. Based on this, Su Fei boldly speculated that the red potion can be considered a forced repair potion, but it cannot be directly injected into the bodies of interstellar people. Therefore, they found an unrelated intermediate complex to screen out impurities in order to achieve the final repair function. I always think it's absurd, but it seems very reasonable. But if the ultimate goal is to repair, then what is the point of initially treating human life like grass and using the cruelest methods to study? Unless it is to serve individuals by any means possible, rather than the general public. This also inevitably reminded her of a science fiction blockbuster she watched during her lifetime. She had forgotten everything about it, and was only deeply impressed by one of the scientific experiments. The experimental subjects are living humans, using high-dot-precision instrument molecular technology to scan the body, completely separating the soul and body, and then condensed matter printing, ultimately obtaining a killing machine. In the days to come, Baitongren is indeed dedicated to researching how to simply and roughly strip away her spiritual power and use it. The most intuitive manifestation is that they will be insane and inject the collected blue smoke into the injured body to check the degree of repair and data, so that many indigenous people who could have died and ended their torment can only drag their tattered bodies and endure endless pain. Su Fei also went from initial heartache and resentment to later numbness and even, under the trend of desire, took every opportunity to compete with the main brain for violent and dispersed spiritual power, and did her utmost to not miss any opportunity to become stronger. Then he had a sudden idea and tried to persuade the white man to gradually relax the main brain's monitoring of himself when he fell alone, making his actions more and more autonomous. Although the first few attempts have all ended in failure, given the strong enough spiritual power, one can always achieve what they want in unexpected places. At this moment, I have to thank the researchers of the Gene Reshaping Project for giving her a resilient body and giving her enough arrogance. But on second thought, if it weren't for these things, I wouldn't have been held here. The dual nature of contradictions in the development of things is fully reflected at this moment. The only thing that made her feel difficult was that every time she tried to seduce someone, they would eventually disappear. In theory, as someone who has been in the laboratory for a long time, they must be at the core of the entire team, with more or less control over confidential information. 
If they don't see it, they will disappear, and coincidentally, they will disappear quickly after she comes to them. It's hard not to think too much about it. Su Fei doesn't care about the whereabouts of these people, but she is very dissatisfied with having to re-examine the new dog legs before each job, which seriously hinders her progress. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Language Chips You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Language Chips The intermittent increase and decrease of personnel provided Su Fei with an opportunity to take advantage of it, and her actions became more bold. After several days of careful investigation, she caught sight of a burly and silly-looking white man. She thought that with such good health, she could persevere until the completion of this mission. This time she is preparing to do something big, with a strategic position that is extremely important, and even playing a leading role in the overall situation, which is to implant a language chip for herself. To be ashamed, I used to be young and ignorant. I boasted about learning interstellar language in Haikau, but unfortunately, I didn't fully understand the 26-letter English language for decades before I passed away. With just this little bit of brainpower, I still want to conquer the complex and difficult to understand interstellar language, which is simply a dream. We can only hope on the sidelines, and her current body cannot be explained by conventional thinking. Perhaps the power of technology can enable her to achieve qualitative breakthroughs. Make up your mind and take advantage of the fact that you have chosen a white dot collar person to be on duty alone. After a long period of high concentration, relax your body and mind, and feel lost in consciousness. Quickly, accurately, and fiercely, penetrate the protective cover, directly into the center of your eyebrows, instantly shaking his will and gaining control of his body. This is her first time launching a mental attack on the human body, possibly due to her lack of proficiency in handling the force, causing Wei En's posture to stand unsteadily under the impact and lie on the ground with a smack. Fortunately, the white dot collar person has great autonomy on the side of the main brain, and the main brain has no right to interfere. They can only symbolically come to take care of their physical condition, and there are no obvious abnormalities. After seeing him struggling to get up, they do not take further actions. Su Fei, who had successfully implemented it, secretly rejoiced and once again refreshed her practical experience in using her own spiritual power. Previously, I only dared to attach a small amount of spiritual power around my line of sight, and without changing the background of the main premise, I used some small means to create some reasonable illusions, slowly and difficult to achieve my intentions. Moreover, the intelligence level of this main brain is much higher than the previous one, and any unnecessary negligence will result in the failure of accumulated efforts, which can only be repeated with caution. But the current increase or decrease in personnel has opened up a gap in the closed-dot-loop management of the main brain, and the vast majority of the attention of the white-dot-collar person is also involved in work handover, giving her a rare opportunity to advance and retreat. After adapting to her body, Su Fei tried her best to direct the body to walk naturally. Not being a human for a long time, even upright walking needs to be preset. Not far away is the massive main control console. In fact, looking around, there are not many buttons on the huge tabletop, but there are small windows suspended by various laser external lines, red, yellow, blue, and green, densely packed. Each window represents a domain and stores relevant data. Small windows exist independently of each other and are also interconnected. For these buttons and small windows, Su Fei's mastery is not high either. The only thing she can be certain of is that they should not be touched easily, otherwise higher dot level monitoring is just around the corner. According to the operation process of Bai Duoren in her memory, Su Fei called up a simple and common interface, where she handwritten the words of the language conversion chip. The square and upright Chinese characters disappeared in an instant, and all the relevant regulations found appeared. She even thoughtfully converted the text into simplified characters, demonstrating her level of intelligence. People have to sigh. The advanced form of technology is to think what it wants and give it what it wants. Meet all your small requirements, no matter what form. 
Even after thousands of years of ups and downs, many things on ancient earth have been preserved relatively intact. Although there are many details missing, it does not affect the speed of reading in the slightest. Su Fei used the fastest speed, clicked to enter the printing interface, and fully optimized the performance of the chip. She didn't expect the chip to store much, and could understand the simplest daily conversations. Most importantly, she had the ability to avoid all detection methods and not be detected. Starting the printing machine, the most agonizing thing afterwards was waiting for the finished product. If it weren't for not being unable to insert it, she would have prepared to personally start printing this crucial chip. Just as my mind was highly focused and staring at the instrument, I was about to input the interstellar language system when the console suddenly beeped. The voice was not loud, but Su Fei's anger surged in her head and her hands and feet trembled with fear. After half a sound, I finally regained my senses and clicked on the interface that prompted me to view the push message. The bright red window hints at not very pleasant news, but it also depends on which side's position to stand on. For Su Fei, it may still be a surprise. She skipped the font and directly clicked on the real dot time pushback surveillance footage. It turned out that at the overall outer corner of the laboratory, a man and a woman were found sneaking and walking in close proximity. They all have ordinary looks, piled up in a pile of people, wearing tattered blue protective clothing. At first glance, they look like inseparable lovers in love, with no other noteworthy points. But the main brain heavily circles their faces and wrists, indicating that there is something fishy, not too small. Based on a comprehensive analysis, it can be concluded that the main brain believes that these two individuals are suspected of obstructing their true faces and are likely to have a tendency to climb over walls and sneak into households, but have not taken any substantial action. Therefore, it is sent to inquire about the next disposal instructions. It's much more interesting here, no matter what their intentions are, those who don't show their true intentions openly and are prepared to cause trouble in secret will all become allies. Su Fei was very willing to take his allies around this sturdy prison, not only curious about their identities, but also curious about the scenes inside and the future development prospects. She effortlessly eliminated the alarm and even hidden the interface on the motherboard as if nothing had happened. The chip printing is complete, the conveying angle is determined, the transmission is timed to be delayed, and then the tail is tightened. Then, the consciousness of leaving the white dot collar person without stopping is also afraid of wasting the white dot collar person into a disposable item by staying for an extra second. After all, mengbuting is foolish. We have to dig three feet deep and find out the cause and effect. Like those before, the naive person who initially woke up had a brief doubt, but it was quickly forgotten, and Su Fei remained quietly at the booth, silently enduring the chip intake. This chip is as thin as a cicada's wings. When it was first printed, Su Fei still had some doubts about its ability. The specially selected leather is resistant to manufacturing and has the least harmful contact with the human body, the full-level high dot precision tip. However, the physical body is so weak that even the booth scanner cannot be fooled. However, it has been proven that not only did Anran pass the scan, but there was also no rejection mutation reaction during the fusion process with her body. Undoubtedly produced by interstellar technology, with quality assurance. After the fusion was completed, the interstellar world opened its doors completely to her. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. Conceiving Allies. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5. Conceiving allies only separated by a chip, Su Fei was already like two people. Once the lowest level of illiteracy, with no hope in sight, relying solely on stumbling and falling, now transformed into a knowledge-based talent, proficiently mastering a fully developed language that has evolved over thousands of years. She was overjoyed and unable to express her excitement in words at the moment. She could only wave her scorched and cracked tentacles and jump up on her own. In the eyes of the white dot collar person, this scene transformation was thought to be an excessive extraction of mental energy, causing the experimental subject to uncontrollable spasms. 
They injected nutrient liquid on the spot, fearing that something might go wrong and burping on his hand. Under the dual enjoyment of body and mind, Su Fei began to carefully examine the prison that had trapped her for a long time. It was still as cold and simple as before, but now there was an inexplicable sense of familiarity. Glancing around carefully, I threw away the control panel, which was a chaotic and orderly arrangement of various experimental instruments, test tubes, catheters, drug devices, syringes, and so on. This time she understood the text on these labels, but her understanding at the knowledge level was somewhat lacking. Based on her comprehensive experience, it was nothing more than various conversion devices, which were not very helpful to her at this moment. The only noteworthy thing is the label on the red potion bottle, which clearly states that the spirit extract of the Ernesto tribe is highly toxic. What kind of tribe is the Ernesto tribe? With such a foreign name, it can only be temporarily determined that it is not a product of the land of China. The spiritual extract also indirectly indicates that the production process is not far from her personal experience during this period. What is glaring is the word, highly toxic, which makes her involuntarily observe her body. Is it because her originally hard and solid skin has become so rough and dark now? I think it's somewhat related. Just as Su Fei was still addicted to the wonderful experience brought by language, the consul issued another alarm. Looking down from a high position, the red bulletin board hidden on the floor flickered incessantly, fearing that others might not know about the situation. Without any accidents, it was the allies who were found to be at fault again. The on-duty white dot collar person shook his chaotic head and strode towards the control console to check. Su Fei waved his hand and a handful of spiritual energy firmly attached to his eyes. At this moment, all he could see in his sight was what he wanted to see. The white dot collar person skillfully pulled out the red bulletin board and checked the alarm but the original prompt of the main brain was to detect a suspicious person. There was a miniature satellite camera on the wrist, which was in power-off mode. It was recommended to arrest immediately. Below are the big stickers of the two of them, their eye movements seeming to be preparing to climb over the wall and enter the house. In the eyes of white dot collar people, it becomes. Garbage is detected at the outer corner, it is recommended to clean it up immediately, please take it seriously. The supporting evidence then became that there was a bright pile of medical device waste at the corner, which was quite eye-dot catching compared to the clean and tidy environment around it. To be honest, Su Fei felt that this excuse was indeed far-fetched. The urgent alarm prompt was just to clean up a pile of non-dot existent garbage, but her imagination was limited and she couldn't think of anything else for a while. Obviously, for this reason, the white dot collar person is also puzzled, repeatedly confirming, and even pointing to the screen to read word by word. In the end, he shifted his skeptical gaze away from himself and blamed the main brain for making a big fuss. Neglectively eliminate this message and even turn off the voice prompts of the alarm. Seeing this situation, Su Fei was very satisfied. She relaxed her confusion about the white trap and instead released a wave of spiritual energy along the pipeline, searching for allies who struggled to enter the door. The next task is to investigate the location and spatial distribution of this laboratory, roughly clarify the usage of each area, and develop a complete escape route. The emergence of allies, like timely rain, provides the possibility of achieving twice the result with half the effort. The productivity of the interstellar era is high dot end and atmospheric, with ordinary sliding doors that look light and elegant, and brittle and shiny porcelain partitions that cannot even penetrate the divine power. The high density and strong hardness make Su Fei feel a bit overwhelmed. Walking through the door and climbing through the window is not enough. There are no holes the size of a mouse hole, it's just an iron bucket. All right, that's it. The gentleman on the beam doesn't give way, he can only walk through the door openly. Suppressing her temper, Su Fei waited until the shift handover, like a personal pendant, quietly sticking to the protective suit of the white-clad person, waiting to see the light again. Walk out of the sliding door of the laboratory, go through three disinfection and sterilization corridors first, take off a layer of protective clothing every time, 
until there are still several layers of transparent film. Seeing this scene, Su Fei lamented that she was like a prehistoric virus and needed such strict protection, as if any accidental contact would lead to her death. Taking off the white protective suit, the true appearance of the person wearing the white suit gradually becomes apparent. The erect eyebrows, the murky gaze contaminated by knowledge, coupled with simple and honest lips, do not have a handsome appearance, but exude innate familiarity. He is an Asian and also the first time Su Fei has observed such a creature up close since his rebirth. He seemed very tired, his footsteps light and listless, greeting a few scattered passers-by before diving into his capsule apartment and lying flat in bed. Su Fei looked around and found that the decoration style was as simple and straightforward as ever. Except for the necessary seats, benches, and beds, Everything else was either non-existent or hidden in the dark, appearing when needed. There is nothing beautiful about a single man's dormitory, and there is no need to expect to discover any amazing secrets. After a brief stroll, he slipped through the door. The top of the corridor is a dazzling incandescent light tube, which is appropriately soft and makes it difficult to distinguish between night and day. Wandering aimlessly for a long time, I finally realized that the area I was in seemed to be an employee rest area, densely packed with capsule apartments, like copying and pasting, completely identical except for the people. The monotony is either white or black, and the entire funeral style is lifeless and lacks any vitality. But the large event center not far away is a colorful and eye dot catching world. Looking around, rows of smart warehouses and recuperation machines are neatly arranged with robots standing next to them providing services at any time. Various leisure and entertainment facilities are rotating from top to bottom, and even during the display process, animations are used to demonstrate the operation process, allowing people to know their functions at a glance. The dazzling neon lights are abruptly inserted horizontally, depicting various character images, lifelike, beautiful, funny, or thrilling, with a variety of strange and varied elements. Su Fei was like a country bumpkin entering the city, full of curiosity interweaving back and forth. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Successful Infiltration You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Successful Infiltration It's really a mess of flowers gradually becoming more charming to the eyes. If it weren't for the lack of substance, Su Fei might have already experienced the intimate massage of the female model with a convex front and a raised back, along with the on-dot-demand five-dimensional movie, experiencing the impact of being in person. Finally, in the embrace of the male model, she enjoyed a comprehensive sleep assistance service. Although the models are all biomimetic robots, this does not hinder her from staring at her eyes that appreciate beauty. At the moment of lingering forgetfulness, there are signs of spiritual exhaustion, mainly due to prolonged detachment from the subject and lack of subsequent power supply. With a heavy heart, Su Fei reluctantly turned back three times, secretly swearing in her heart that the day she regained her freedom would be when she hugged her left and right. Returning to a state of plain soup and lack of water all at once, it feels somewhat dull and tasteless. Along with the exploration, they lost their original passion and skipped many useless things until they met two equipment repairmen at the corner. Wearing blue work clothes and carrying a work badge, following behind the self-moving equipment repair box, silently moving forward. At first, Su Fei just skimmed by and didn't pay attention. It wasn't until she drifted out a distance that she suddenly realized. According to reason, the repairman stationed all year round was already familiar with this place and only needed to locate it. There was no need to open the forward navigation on the equipment repair box. With a skeptical attitude, she turned around and chased after her, but unexpectedly, the two of them lost track in the blink of an eye. With this final decision, it seems that these two people still have some real talents and knowledge. Otherwise, they would have been caught twice by climbing over the wall, and they might have become the subjects of the experiment. The reaction time was not long, and it was highly likely that they were hiding in the empty rooms on both sides. Su Fei conducted a carpet-style search and quickly found them in a miscellaneous room where electronic devices were stacked. At this moment, 
they were crouching in front of a controller, inputting a series of things. A digital symbol appeared in front of them in an instant, and the numbers were constantly jumping, increasing or decreasing. Through the numbers, they seemed to understand something, looking at each other and their eyes gradually becoming more serious. The man slowly spoke up, we underestimated the level of the main brain here. I have only seen such an advanced system within the military. And our movements are probably already being monitored. Immediately, the previous alarm information was retrieved, which clearly showed the whereabouts and appearance of the two individuals. Su Fei nodded repeatedly, thinking that if it weren't for your luck, she would have been locked in a small black room without even entering the door. The woman took a cold breath and felt a sense of retreat. Since that's the case, should we evacuate immediately? The man pondered for a moment and continued to pick and choose among the jumping numbers, with a determined tone. Although the main brain had warned two messages in advance, both were ignored. I suspect that someone had turned off the voice prompt before, causing the alarm to not be detected. It is speculated that there is no big difference, so there is no need to pay attention to details. Just Su Fei didn't understand how he saw this information amidst a bunch of flickering numbers. Just as she approached and stared at the numbers, the two of them had already begun to express their opinions on the next action. The woman believes that since she has already been detected by the main brain, she should take advantage of an undetected mistake and leave early to make plans. The man believes that not only have a large number of residual body chips been found in the small resort, but there are even advanced systems that rival the military, indicating that there are hidden secrets inside. Once you choose to evacuate easily, you may not be able to enter so easily next time. Besides, they have now obtained their identity and can enter and exit with integrity, as long as they are careful, there will not be too many mistakes. The risk is within a controllable range. Listening to what they meant, they just had nothing to do and briefly played around the resort. However, they never expected to find crystal fragments left by burning corpses in the corner of the lake, which were huge in size. With a simple investigation, they locked in this place and originally planned to sneak in, implant an application in the protective system, and then evacuate. This way, even if you are thousands of miles away, you can keep track of the dynamics here in real time without much risk. But now it's different. With such advanced system integration, not to mention implanting applications, I'm afraid I might be excluded from level recognition before I even have the chance to access the system architecture. In other words, the modification and improvement of the system required the identity verification of specific personnel. For current equipment repairmen, they do not even have the opportunity to get close to the main brain. Su Fei deeply believed that in the realm where spiritual power was difficult to penetrate, it was as difficult as climbing the sky to easily approach and modify the system program of the main brain. Even she sacrificed a lot of blood and tears to find some freedom to survive in the cracks. If it were her choice, she would not hesitate to turn around and leave. But now her stance is different. She praises the man's adventurous spirit and is even willing to add her own strength to his plan. The man tried to persuade several times, but the woman reluctantly agreed. The two agreed to explore first. Then at a critical moment when the two of them were conspiring, Su Fei shut down the power and her consciousness completely returned to its original state. But there is no need to worry, after all, we have been together for a long time. In the next few days, she did not specifically investigate the progress of these two people, only because the white trick person came up with a new trick. I don't know what happened. I strengthened the current threshold around the booth. I also specially brought several large dot-scale disinfectors to spray spray on her regularly. Regardless of whether it's useful or not, every time I open my eyes, I feel like I'm about to ascend to immortality. Originally, with her current abilities, her body could withstand the ravages of high-voltage currents, but she managed to escape the electronic cage and couldn't leave the laboratory like an iron barrel. Even if we can follow the same method and carry out the white trap, what will happen next? Once caught during the escape, she couldn't hide the fact that she had consciousness. 
It is better to act after careful consideration when uncertain about something. Having overcome the routine violent deprivation of mental energy, Su Fei worked hard to accumulate some mental energy and began to care about the progress of her allies. When it comes to saying goodbye for three days, one should look up to each other. The last time we met, we were still equipment maintenance personnel wandering around the periphery. Now, we have become a part of the white dot collar community and are beginning to venture into the central area. After getting to know about it, it was only then that they realized that it was due to a series of physical problems with the white dot collar person recently, and the situation was not understood for a moment, resulting in the replacement personnel having a heavy workload and unable to maintain normal laboratory operation. Coincidentally, the two of them volunteered and after a simple evaluation, they were certified to work. However, although they have more freedom than before, they still have no idea about the core laboratory. Is it just that a person with a white suit has a physical condition for no reason? Su Fei vaguely felt that the culprit behind this problem was herself. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Toxic Attack You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Toxic Attack To answer the doubts in one's heart, the top priority is to first meet those who are not in good health. Leaving her allies for the time being, Su Fei headed straight to the medical department, feeling empty all the way, leading to several times feeling unconfident and thinking she had gone in the wrong direction. It wasn't until I saw a few big characters about the medical work center that I finally felt relieved. The security level in other places is vastly different from that in the laboratory. Su Fei effortlessly infiltrated and searched for it, but did not realize anything was wrong. Until passing by a tightly closed ward, I smelled a familiar smell. Strictly speaking, she currently has no sensory stimulation, let alone the smell. But strangely enough, this smell doesn't seem to be smelled, but rather perceived deep within the soul. There is a damp spring rain that moistens the soil. Just as I was about to enter and explore, an acquaintance walked towards me in the side corridor, who was the duty officer on the day of printing chips. After that day, Su Fei never saw him in the laboratory again. Unexpectedly, in just a few days, he had become so thin that he looked like this. His eyes were lifeless, his eyeballs were deeply trapped in the frame of his eyes, and his skin and flesh hung loosely on his bony and bony body, making him breathe more than a corpse. This tone is still intermittent, as if it will completely calm down in the next second. This problem seems to be a bit big. Su Fei admits that she doesn't have much ability, and this destructive power may not be something she can do. But the next second, she was slapped in the face, deeply realizing how much fright she had created. I saw the man slowly moving with the help of the medical staff. As he passed by, he clearly noticed a surge in mental waves, with a glint in his eyes that ignited a spark of greed. With an unbiased gaze, he locked onto Su Fei's position, and his white eyes gradually turned black until they filled the entire eye socket. The corners of his mouth also began to slowly smile, until he straightened his mouth into a straight line. Su Fei's scalp tingled in an instant. Although she was only a bundle of mental energy at the moment, she really felt a sense of urgency being targeted by prey, which scared her to turn around and run away. During the escape, looking back, the man had already torn apart the medical staff attempting to intercept him, with his mouth wide open, twisted body, and four limbs in pursuit. The medical worker was originally a biomimetic robot, but now the parts are scattered and the wires are exposed, cracking and cracking, it's really miserable. This kind of scene made Su Fei start to panic and run towards anyone, instinctively. The accident here was soon discovered. Firstly, the personnel went up to intercept it on their own and found that the outcome was not much different from that of medical staff. They quickly changed their strategy, and the main brain commanded mechanical security to intervene, barely controlling the man's behavior. Su Fei hid in a safe area with lingering fear, watching the scene of a starving ghost reincarnation, and a hint of guilt appeared in her heart. But soon suppressed, comforting oneself for the sins of heaven is still a violation, if you commit sins, you cannot live. 
No matter what the reason for his appearance here is, he ultimately intervened in the abuse of the interstellar indigenous people, and the current outcome can only be deserved. There were more and more onlookers, including allies. The two of them patrolled around and silently retreated. Look at this, I'm prepared to take this opportunity to steal other useful information. Su Fei quickly caught up and happened to be asked by the woman, what's the situation with that person? Why do you feel a bit familiar? The man responded in a low voice, psychotropic drugs, they are quite toxic. The woman suddenly said, no wonder you look familiar, drug addicts. The security here is very strict, with clear levels, and we won't tolerate the staff taking drugs. It can only be accidentally infected. The woman speculated step by step, is it possible that this place is secretly researching new psychoactive drugs? The man nodded and said, so far, it seems like this. I'm afraid the staff who were previously unwell also accidentally got infected. But they discovered it in a timely manner, and under forced blockade, there was not such a significant response. No wonder all the white tricks she had harassed no longer appeared, it turned out that her mental power was poisonous. In those days, we have made great efforts to kill the laboratory, especially where she is, which is also the problem. Upon closer examination, it was evident that the red potion was clearly labeled as highly toxic, and she was forced to inject and absorb so much that her mental strength was not toxic, which led to the problem. The two of them may have already figured out the approximate location in the past two days, and went straight to the forbidden area. Look in this direction, it's the sample placement base near the laboratory. The samples here are nothing more than exhibition halls of various experimental subjects. Before entering, Su Fei had done a lot of psychological construction, but ordinary people living in peaceful times and prosperous China still lacked understanding of the evil of human nature. From organ fragments to meridian dissection, they are all marks left by live experiments. Not only that, there are a plethora of audio and video recordings displayed on the display cabinet, each with the subject's physical condition, experimental situation, and cause of death written on it. Watching these things, Su Fei felt a chill in her heart, and a hysterical scream had already sounded in her ear. The woman's face turned pale as soon as she entered, and she ran to the corner to vomit. The man suppressed his anger and examined them one by one, saying, the people of Nabi River, the people of Eunice, the people of Crocodile Island, and the people of Garza. After listing a series of races, he frowned and couldn't understand for a moment. The woman suppressed the churn in her stomach and stood side by side with him, quickly realizing this phenomenon. Why, does the new drug need to collect so much racial information? The man pondered for a moment, picked up the latest recorded mother tape, placed it on his wrist, and let the micro camera interpret it on the spot. Then, he put it back without any error and pulled the woman away. The chaos ahead will soon subside. Let's leave here first and discuss it later. On the way back, many people stood in place, expressing their opinions and speculations on the matter, with various speculations, including sensationalism. The meaning is that this place is not clean and needs to be evacuated immediately. Judging from his attire and rank, I don't know exactly what the laboratory is studying. But in the highly developed star age, there is still such a feudal ideology that is not conducive to science, which is really unexpected. These rumors, which were not conducive to unity, were quickly forcibly dispersed. Su Fei followed his allies back to the capsule apartment and gathered together to watch the copied video. The events recorded in the video are what happened indoors on the day many indigenous people were captured. Blurred the background and many important things, with a focus on the clear contrast between those two victims. Watching it again, Su Fei no longer had the initial fear and unease. Seeing too much makes me numb. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Retreat Interruption. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 Retreat Interruption Before she could finish watching the video, the woman's blood was already surging. She angrily slammed the table, stood up, and walked out, looking for someone to fight for. 
The man quickly grabbed onto his waist and roared in a low voice, Sinsu, please calm down. Once we go out, our previous efforts will be in vain. I understand the truth, but when it comes to emotions, it's really unbearable. Sun Tzu lowered her head and choked, Brother Cheng, what should we do? What should we do? Until now, she only knew what kind of abyss she was in. If she made a mistake, it would be an irreparable disaster. Regardless of the evidence of the bloodshed on that wall, even though hundreds of people have disappeared consecutively, the Federation is unaware, which indirectly indicates that this is a large organized and terrifying criminal gang. How can such a criminal gang fight against just the two of them? Sun Tzu buried her head in Ching Ji's chest, suppressing her crying. Suddenly, she raised her bright red eyes and said, Ching Gu, we have evidence now. We'll leave right away before anything happens. She couldn't stay in this place for a moment. Whenever she thought of someone in a corner around her, watching her body shatter in fear, her heart felt as if it had been stirred into mud by a blade. Cheng lowered his head in contemplation and made up his mind to agree, okay, we'll find an opportunity to retreat tomorrow. These are all crazy people here, not studying any psychotropic drugs at all, but wanting to achieve cell regeneration, they want immortality. Eternal life. Regarding Cheng Ji's idea, Su Fei said that there is some truth to it. If there are problems, they should be fixed, which is to achieve immortality. She just doesn't understand, isn't the era of star rating claiming to be highly developed in technology? If there is a problem with the body, simply add a 5D printing organ and install a mechanical bionic limb. Otherwise, simply click on it and upload it directly to the cloud. Isn't that the kind of immortality that achieves another meaning? For Mao to be so persistent, expending a lot of manpower and resources, carrying half of the federal criminal law, studying day and night in this dark place. It can only be said that her ideas are still too shallow to follow the footsteps of a madman. Sun Tzu doesn't seem to understand very well, but she's already focused on retreating and not very interested in these things. The two of them snuggled together, with a warm atmosphere that carried an undeniable sadness. Su Fei had no intention of prying into the warmth of the little couple's embrace again, and silently left, wishing them a smoother departure tomorrow. Otherwise, she might not have persisted for long. And she really likes Ching Gu very much. Her mind is really bright, and in just a few days, she investigated everything. Over time, he must be a fierce general of the Federation. As she wandered alone for a while, a neglected question suddenly came to mind. Those who had come into contact with her spiritual power had all been infected with toxicity, so she had followed her allies for quite some time. Perhaps they had also been taken advantage of. Maintaining this doubt, Su Fei's consciousness returned to the main body intermittently, looking at the busy white dot collar people below, gradually leaning towards peaceful coexistence with others as long as she did not attempt to invade. Otherwise, this bunch of idiots would have been living with her day and night, like leeks in the field, dying one after another. Time passed by minute by second, and Su Fei kept an eye on the news on the console, preparing to reduce the crisis as soon as any situation arose during the retreat of her allies strive for time to delay for a while, so that the collected evidence can be sent out to the outside world. Su Fei has high hopes for them and also hopes that after they are free, they can quickly help themselves achieve their freedom. After an unknown amount of time, Su Fei, who had been staring at her for a long time, felt drowsy and bored. The console was quiet, as usual, with only the numbers jumping frequently. It has been so long, and the retreat should have been around, but her heart is not feeling well. My intuition is not very good, I always feel like I have overlooked something. Just as she was racking her brains to recall, a sentence from the shift change white dot collar person entering the door aroused her interest. The child from the medical department, I don't know what's going on, suddenly came out. He was running back and forth in the hallway holding a teddy bear and holding a pillow. I'm so scared that my heart is still trembling a bit. Another person continued, what did this plague god come out for? Why didn't he stay in the room properly? 
who knew that he wouldn't let go of a girl in the maintenance department and insisted that she tell him a story, sneered the white dot collar person. He still knows how to tell stories, I thought he only knew how to kill people. As soon as the note of murder sounded, Su Fei was covered in cold. In an instant, he rushed out and followed the shift change personnel as the heavy sliding door closed. On the way, she finally remembered the forgotten things in her mind. She felt the familiar smell outside the medical ward and was startled by the scene of drug addiction, so she forgot about it. Now she is very certain that the whereabouts of the two have been discovered, not by the main brain or other staff members, but by this medical child who is said by others to only know how to kill. In order to notify the two as soon as possible, Su Fei increased her power and drifted to the area they were responsible for. Unexpectedly, she ran into Tsun Su halfway. To be honest, I didn't encounter it either. I was attracted by the familiar scent and as expected, I met the person I wanted to meet. At this moment, Tsun Su was led forward by a boy of seven or eight years old, holding a teddy bear on his pillow. The direction was not exactly where she came from. The alarm sounded in my heart, staring at the boy's face, hoping to see some clues. The boy has a handsome face, round eyebrows and eyes, and there is still milk fat hanging on his cheeks, just like a childish child who has not yet shed his skin. A child like this, under careful observation, has a cold eye and a faint mockery in his smile. Su Fei wanted to take advantage of the unnoticed advantage and approached to remind her, but to her surprise, the boy's seemingly absent gaze abruptly halted her movements. He seems to be able to feel his presence, which is not good news. However, from a different perspective, Su Fei can be attracted by his taste, and it cannot be ruled out that he is also like this. Thinking this way, Su Fei quickly retreated a few steps, turned around and left. Tsun Su had already been taken hostage, and the best way now was to find Qin Gu. Qin Gu doesn't know what's going on, how can he let Tsun Su be taken away casually? This matter is not a bit tricky, it's very tricky. I couldn't locate Qing anymore, so I had to look around and finally found him in the electronic miscellaneous room where I first met. Squatting in the corner, seemingly searching for a loophole in the main brain monitoring. How can you come in and go out as you please? This will force you to be foolproof and sacrifice your life. Su Fei immediately stepped forward and commanded the airborne numbers to form a telegram. The whereabouts were leaked, and he immediately left. Fearing that he might not understand, Tsun Su continued. On the way to the sample placement base, be careful of the children around you and get rid of him. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Traces Leakage You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Traces Leakage Originally, Su Fei thought of killing him with both inside and outside cooperation, but on second thought, she didn't know the depth or details, so it was important to escape. Otherwise, the situation will escalate and leaving will be more difficult than reaching the sky. Cheng would stare at the changing numbers, his eyes full of waves and waves, but his face didn't show. He asked directly, who are you? Su Fei was very satisfied with his composure, but now was not a good time to introduce each other. He kept gesturing in his hands. It's not important, now, immediately, leave immediately to highlight the urgency, Su Fei even pulled his arm directly towards Tsun Su's direction. If it weren't for the fear of him getting poisoned during the operation, it would directly direct the action. Cheng felt a strong force coming from his right arm, and in an instant, he lifted himself off the ground and half flew out. Suppressing the inner turmoil, pondering what will happen next. If the news is accurate, then the situation is indeed in crisis, and pulling Tsun Su away is the best way. If the information is not accurate, then he also needs to have enough means to deal with it. Su Fei ignored everything else, but when encountering passers-by and surveillance cameras, she directly blinded their eyes and blurred their senses. After flashing by, she instantly returned to normal. Cheng watched helplessly as the patrol personnel turned a blind eye to him, and in less than half a minute, he shuttled through multiple important checkpoints to reach the entrance of the forbidden area where he entered and exited yesterday. 
Su Fei put it down, pressed it against his back, and with one force, he stood at the intersection of the corridor. Mr. Ching Bosi, why are you here? Sun Su caught a glimpse of Ching Gu standing in front of her at a glance. She couldn't hide her surprise for a moment and instinctively called out her real name. However, when she caught sight of the boy's presence at the corner of her eye, she immediately changed her tongue and asked, Mr. Bose, is there anything here? Cheng's expression was unpredictable, and his eyes unconsciously surveyed the children around him. In his experience, there is no difference from other children, but strangely, in such a magical cave, a child will appear for no reason. It's just a matter of appearing, still able to move freely in the tightly patrolled levels. Based on the information provided by the mysterious person, I had a myriad of thoughts in an instant. In Sun Tzu's repeated call, I regained my senses and pulled out a smile. Director SOS asked me to come find you. A device has malfunctioned and we need to repair it together. Sun Tzu heard this and thought everything was okay, so she waited to set off. Suddenly, her eyebrows lit up with joy. Just as she was about to move, someone pulled her and a child's coquettish voice came to her ear. Sister, what equipment is malfunctioning? Xiaozhou also wants to go and see. Looking down, the child's expression of fear of being thrown away caught the eye, and for a moment, he felt a bit embarrassed. He turned to Cheng for help. Cheng Gu didn't hesitate and squatted down to persuade him kindly, the machine is very dangerous, so children should not go. Unfortunately, Xiao Zhou didn't think so. She hugged the little bear tightly and rebutted in a low voice, but Xiao Zhou hasn't seen it yet and really wants to go and see it. Why don't Xiao Zhou call Uncle SOS? He will let Xiao Zhou go. He was about to take out his little genius phone watch and press it down. At the critical moment, Ching Gu held down his movements and forced out a smile in a tone that seemed to spoil him. Since that's the case, I can only take you with me. Xiao Zhou had a happy expression on her face, as if she was really a child who had received candy. But although Su Fei was far away, her eyes were not nearsighted. There was a hint of playfulness at the corner of Xiao Zhou's mouth, as if she thought this game was very fun. Ching Gu symbolically stroked the top of the boy's hair, and without further ado, he picked up Sun Su's hand and walked away. I was thinking all the way about how to get rid of this trouble and how to escape this prison in the shortest possible time. Su Fei fell far to the end, constantly observing. The happiest person is Sun Su, who has not yet realized the seriousness of the situation and chatted with the child while walking. It must be said with emotion that the ignorant are fearless. Due to the rationality of their superficial identity, there were no issues with checking the levels, but everyone was very surprised by the existence of Xiaozhou, but dared not show it. They could only obediently shut up and wait for them to pass before daring to gossip recklessly. What made Su Fei feel disheartened was that regardless of the department or level, they all gave a unanimous evaluation of these three combinations. When it gets cold, let the repair department eliminate the two young people. This is a well-known event that everyone knows so well. Along the way, even a dull sense of smell should know the existence of gunpowder. Besides, Sun Tzu is just simple, but not foolish. Under the hint of Chang's gaze, she continued to maneuver with the small boat, gradually approaching their predetermined track. I just didn't expect to encounter SOS head dot on, with his massive body blocked at the end of the corridor, which was very intimidating. The place where they stand is a necessary path for them to leave, and its purpose is self-evident. Su Fei cursed inwardly, thinking that it was a peaceful act of whitewashing, but his grandson secretly called for a helper. Ching Gu and Sun Su did not mess around at all. They started greeting each other with a smile, and in the moment when Sosa's cold snort was not yet over, they made a fuss. It has to be said that Sun Su's skills are quite good. He paired with Cheng Gu, fought several times, and easily defeated the big guy SOS. The two of them glanced at the seemingly idle small boat and quickly dodged for a few meters away. Cheng gestured to Tsin Su to leave with a glance, but she didn't hesitate. 
she looked back with concern and turned around before leaving. Compared to their formidable enemies, Xiao Zhou remained calm and composed, taking a few slow steps and stepping on the unconscious face of SOS, mocking him with a useless remark. Then, he raised his immature face and pulled out a mischievous smile that was not suitable for his age. A naive voice echoed in the corridor. None of you can leave. After speaking, an energy burst out from him, visible to the naked eye, transforming into a wave of energy in attacking the two of them. To be honest, this is the most powerful spiritual force that Su Fei has ever seen since her rebirth, condensed into essence, and everywhere she goes, it is affected. Obviously, the two people across from each other have also met for the first time, using their spiritual power to such a terrifying extent. But the movements of his subordinates kept going, and Chen Gu mobilized all his mental strength, turning into a shield to resist. Suddenly, sparks and lightning flashed all the way, and those who didn't know thought he was setting off fireworks. Although he is not weak in strength, he stands tall in comparison. Watching a mouthful of blood spurt out, he couldn't hold on and knelt down on one knee. Sun Tzu behind her was also affected by the confrontation, hitting the wall and struggling with her chest. At such a moment, there was no need to worry about anything else. Su Fei flashed behind Cheng and used all her strength to push her attack back a few meters, making Cheng feel relaxed. I don't know why, but since she took over, the sparks and lightning have disappeared, leaving only two forces like mimes. You come and go, and one goes and the other goes. Of course, it was Su Fei's side who was about to surrender, so he couldn't help but shout in a hurry, urging them to leave quickly. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Escape Failure You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Escape Failure Cheng was awakened by a shout in his mind, and he helped up the injured Sun Tzu. The two of them quickly crawled into the pipeline and tried their best to climb out. Seeing this scene, Xiao Zhou didn't care at all. He just tilted his head and humbly asked, are you the latest experimental product developed? You have developed consciousness. What an unexpected surprise. It's just that we are all of the same origin, why are you helping those two useless ants? For a moment, the amount of information was so large that Su Fei's brain, which was already close to standby, was overloaded and completely turned into a paste. And to be honest, if it were in the past, Su Fei might have followed her facial features and appreciated this cute and sickly teenager. Unfortunately, on the opposite side, she truly believed that children with such problems should be sent to a mental hospital for 24.hour continuous care. He's like a crazy dog, biting people everywhere. She was just a lack of replenished spiritual strength, able to withstand such a powerful impact, which was not easy, to the point where she dissipated in mid-air before receiving a response. Without resistance, the attack directly pierced through the wall, revealing a light blue sky amidst the flying dust. The sunlight slanted in, reflecting the child in the darkness. His face became increasingly gloomy, and as soon as he reached out to hold the little bear pillow, he lost his head. At the moment of consciousness's return, Su Fei also spewed out a mouthful of old blood, but due to her unique body structure, she couldn't figure out where the mouth was. Anyway, the crack that had not yet healed was all fine flowing blood. This is also the most serious injury in history, even the damage caused by excessive red potions cannot be matched. Su Fei estimated that she had injured her consciousness. In a blur, she heard piercing alarms, chaotic footsteps, and suddenly fell into darkness. When she opened her eyes again, the white man below was still working in an orderly manner, the instruments were still ticking as usual, and the simple white decoration was printed with a faint halo. In a daze, it seemed as if nothing had happened. She just had a dream under the toxic impact of the medicine. After feeling dizzy and dazed for a long time, the sliding door of the laboratory suddenly opened. Su Fei, who woke up in shock, unconsciously stared at the man dragged in, covered in bloodstains, as he was casually left on the ground, despised, insulted, and even cruelly inserted into his arm by sharp instruments before finally dragging him onto the operating table without any regard. 
Once the catheter is inserted into most of its blood vessels, the next steps can be imagined. Coma state, with additional damage, a deadly situation. This kind of thing has happened too many times, and Su Fei is helpless. It's not that she didn't think about saving it, it's just that her spiritual strength, which she relies on for survival, is their life-threatening talisman. Any slight contamination is a deadly existence. Unauthorized intervention will only increase pain and cannot change the outcome. Just as the white dot collar person was about to press the injection button, he was suddenly interrupted by a pager. The pager conveyed instructions from above, indicating that the intruder's identity should be identified, which is quite special and waiting for the boss to handle it personally. The three words, intruder, are enough to indicate the identity of the man on the operating table, but it turned out to be Brother Cheng, who was unable to escape. Su Fei's anger and blood surged up, and her fluttering tentacles suddenly stiffened. Upon hearing the latest instructions, the white dot collar person cursed inwardly and rudely pulled off the catheter. After ensuring that the boss wouldn't breathe before coming, he turned around and ignored it. Su Fei looked at Ching Gu on the operating table, even though he was unconscious, he frowned tightly. He tried several times to do something to alleviate his pain, but then let it go. His body was already in ruins, like a rag doll, and even skilled embroidery workers were unable to restore it to its original state. His mental strength was also severely damaged, unable to provide the necessary shelter. Moreover, if the white trap person were not given a last dot minute notice, they would have been burned into crystals in the next second and abandoned in the wilderness. The only thing she can do is to wait quietly for him to wake up. Several rounds of whitewashing have ended, and Cheng finally shows some signs of awakening. His eyes slowly rotate, and after struggling, he finally opens them. For the white dot collar person, Cheng Gu at this time is a dead person, the only difference is that he has not been dealt with yet, that's all. Therefore, no one paid attention, let alone knew that he had already awakened. Su Fei watched as his eyes gradually cleared, trying to have a conversation with him and asking for his last words. After waiting for a long time, I thought Cheng could not receive any communication on the level of consciousness. As I was about to think about using other methods, suddenly a faint response came from me. So it's you, a fierce cough caused the wounds all over the body to burst open, and blood flowed down in an instant. The intense pain made Cheng curl up into a shrimp. However, even so, after calming down, he still responded on a conscious level with a weak but gentle tone. What is the last word? We need to think about it carefully. I believe he also has a clear understanding of his own body, and important organs have lost their function, relying solely on his physical foundation and willpower to resist. Unless you immediately upload your consciousness to the cloud to get a chance to survive, it's a matter of time. After a long silence, just as Su Fei thought he was going to confess his last words, he popped up and said, ASU, have you heard any news about ASU? I didn't hear you, one of the most criticized flaws of Bai Tao Ren is her lack of love for gossip. She spends her days immersed in data, perfectly interpreting what it means to have a beautiful appearance in a book. There are very few ways for her to obtain information. After a moment of silence, Su Fei spoke with a guilty heart, sorry, I couldn't save you. It's not your fault, his response became increasingly light-hearted. Just as Su Fei thought the next second was about to interrupt, he persevered with strength and spoke intermittently, I underestimated the enemy too much. The teacher always says that I am impatient and lack endurance, and I will eventually suffer a big loss. The result really caught the old man's attention. But he is not the only one who underestimates the enemy. If she secretly investigates a bit longer, detects the existence of the child earlier, and has strong strength to resist earlier, how can things develop to the current situation? Just as Su Fei was feeling sorry for herself, the sliding door opened again and in came an acquaintance whom she had not seen in a long time. It was the Klitsch A.D. person who gave a passionate speech on the day she first arrived at the laboratory. As seen for the first time, the stars were in full swing, followed by a large number of followers, and unexpectedly, 
a small boat was also among them. Xiaozhou's gaze was fixed on Su Fei from the moment she entered the door, full of determination to win. This white dot collar person should be what they call the big boss. He looked around and walked straight to the operating table, looking at Ching Gu who was half dead on top. A sarcastic greeting. Chief of Aristide Military Academy, long time no see. End of this chapter.